Hello? Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Can people hear us? I can hear us. It was a it was it was an issue. <laughs> we had some weird setup to do because we've not um we had not actually done Switch streaming prior to. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh and it would appear that my twitch app has completely turned itself off that's fun mine uh, seems fine so and we are being on. we are audible yeah okay well so long as we're audible it's good I, i'm really worried that uh today there might be some issues because i'm noticing that our internet is having some issues <laughs> Oh, has it been? Yes, it has. Oh, no, I hadn't had any issues at my computer. Uh, especially on the tablets. Uh, you'll Like I just said, my, my Twitch app just out of nowhere stopped working. Um, also, uh, for some strange reason, my PC is running really high on CPU right now, but I, I think I have an explanation for that, so it's not that big an issue. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> We've got the Dark Souls demo listed yeah. on our Switch. Uh, yeah. And Josh decided oh, to try you know and taking up Warframe. I guess it's free to play. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to give me just one more second to, to finish this setup. <laughs> I just realized something. <laughs> Which is, uh, I had the sound on the TV up. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> you might just... want to put your water somewhere else. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm just making sure that everything is audible. Including the game. You guys can hear the game, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really yeah, no, quiet to for us. So, so Warframe, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to stay pretty quiet, I, I think. I mean, we're not doing anything in the game yet, but I just want to make sure that you guys can hear, like, the background sound effects. They might be very quiet. Uh, Is our volume all the way up? Yes. Um, so, unfortunately, because of the setup that we have there's going to be some issues uh this is about the best we've got for sound for you and i <laughs> okay but they can hear it yeah okay so um well they should be able to hear mm -hmm. it anyway it might wind up being kind of quiet in which case i could get up and, and fix it uh but hey how's everybody doing today <laughs> nice to see all of you yeah, if buster shows up in the chat uh, i did send him the link he's like our warframe friend well, yeah, sort of. He's uh, he's a friend, anyways. Yeah. But like he's he had been playing well. he had been playing Warframe a bunch. So like if anyone has questions, he would be the one to do it. Josh just yeah, tried War, it for the Warframe first time. On like Switch yesterday. is fucking weird. Uh, I have not played it, but I have um I have seen screen caps of cats <laughs> from space. Yeah. Anyway, let let's get in on this Pokemon. Let's go. Okay. So this is a big problem. Um, because of the way that online works for Nintendo. Uh, you can only have one particular um, account, like one online account. Oh, shit. Oh, sh <laughs> hey, uh, Mandel27, uh, thank you so much for, for following. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we don't mind solo Joy-Con controls, honestly. It's going to be kind of weird. But uh, So the issue with, with Nintendo's account system... Mm -hmm. is that you can only have an account assigned to one user per Switch. That doesn't mean that, like, only one of these three could have an account. It's, I have a Nintendo account. I never bothered. Uh, so this one has a Nintendo account attached to it. This one doesn't, and this one doesn't. I originally thought that we could assign mine to, to the Hondera one so that mm -hmm. we'd be able to use that, but that doesn't actually work. So I was like, oh, well, maybe we'll just make a new one for Hundera. And then I realized that if we use online, uh, we'd have to pay for the account that the Hundera uses as well, <laughs> because it would be a different Nintendo online account. So we're just going to go with Josh for now. Yeah. And that means that the save file that we use for the stream is going to be my personal save file for this game. <laughs> That's fine. You were the one who wanted to play this game. So yeah, like, yeah. It, it works out. I mean, also, technically. I'm still forever amused that you chose a me for your icon, and I'm just Peach, <laughs> and then our fictional <laughs> channel dog gets to be its own yeah. thing, and it fits well. Okay, so here's how this works, and this is uh, confusing as hell, but basically this game runs on the idea that you have one 
uh, controller at any time. So you have one Joy-Con. Mm-hmm. You have one Pokeball Plus. You have uh, one Joy-Con that's attached to the handheld mode, which seems absolutely insane to me. I don't know. Yeah, you are, do that. aren't you supposed to pretend to throw? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to be using the right Joy-Con because I like the right Joy-Con. And because this game offers co-op, when we get to that point, uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to play this game primarily co-op. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it makes the game significantly easier. Uh, but, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, guys, Josh's me icon is doing like a sexy French girl pose. <laughs> I love it. Hey, I did that on purpose. That was my choice. I know. <laughs> yeah. It was a good choice. Okay. So... Josh doesn't Everything play with the straps. Here. No, I don't play with straps. Who the fuck cares? I might want to find <laughs> one of the straps and stick it on. We'll see. I like see. that old Game Freak logo. That's nice. Yeah. Well, this whole game is kind of banking on at least some nostalgia, so they're going to go with some, oh. some stuff like that. Uh, is the sound okay, or is it really low for you guys? Because I can go boost it. This looks like a commercial yeah for this, this legitimately looks like a commercial that's probably fine a lot of the openings for the more modern pokemon games have been just things that look exactly like commercials to be honest uh so we're gonna play it in canton you know <laughs> we're gonna play it in english if you're not sure what to do, ask an adult to help you choose language. Oh, okay, no. so if a kid can't figure out which of these to, to pick, they also can't read what you just asked them to do. Yeah, on top of that, um, I one you can't change the language once you start playing. That is odd. That is a weird choice. I don't know why they'd set it up that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess sounds a little low. Okay, then I'll turn mm-hmm. it up. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't like completely orb-faced Pikachu. Yeah, continue, continue talking about Pikachu. Yeah, too. I don't like... Okay, so Fat Pikachu is best Pikachu. Just, of course it is. But, like, sometimes they do this thing with modern Pikachus where it's thin Pikachu, but then his head has, like, just a single curve and no cheek. And I don't like that as much. But then also this Eevee's got, like, that little cheek, but it looks like it's drawn weird. A little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of get what they were going for with uh, that. Oh, but... why is this Pikachu got weirdly... Sh- Look at the Pikachu's hands. <laughs> one of them is way bigger than the other and may have more fingers. Um, One of them is spread out and the other one's closed up. But why? <laughs> I, I don't really on know. The, they're basically in the same <laughs> position. Yeah, Gen, somebody said it, but Gen 1's Pikachu is basically just, yes, it's it's an orb with a tail and ears, and that's it. I love Gen 1 Pikachu. I, it is it is superior. Generation 1 Pikachu is legitimately my favorite version of Pikachu, but my, my absolute all-time favorite version is the interpretation of Gen 1 in Pokemon Special. Yeah, like uh, also called Pokemon Adventures. It's it's the manga that ran alongside Gen mm-hmm. One. Spe- yeah, yeah, it's the one that <laughs> isn't based on the anime. It's the one who the artist of that Pikachu wound up with a terminal disease that she beat, mm-hmm. survived, is still totally alive, but it robbed her of the ability to draw, uh, which is like the most depressing thing more. ever. Yeah, she's she's getting better. Yeah, she can draw now, but it takes her a while. To she has her. a Twitter. Yeah. And still sells copies of her older manga. I don't think she has the rights to Pokemon because, I mean, <laughs> no, she, she did doesn't. that for she her company. She super does not. But she had other stuff that I haven't read, but, like, I think she still has a little store where they sell them. And it's yeah. like, she's getting back together. I don't know what illness <laughs> she had that caused that. I though, don't know so, either. Like, that seriously concerns me. Other than, okay. like, developing a disease, though, that lady was life goals. Wait, like, pause real quick. It. Was was the little thing that we thought was a commercial at the beginning, was that canon? Like, was that actually what happened to us? Were we just sucked into a TV? What happened to Professor Oak? <laughs> uh, this is what happens with old age. This, this <laughs> As you get older, you slowly turn into... He's got this. like a Lego man head. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. His oh, eyes. Look why did a you need a second dead. one? There's an Eevee right there. Why is it a Cubone? Interesting <laughs> this choice. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some keep them as companions, others have them do battle. As for myself, I like that I Psyduck. I study Pokemon as a profession. 
Yeah. I like that Psyduck, Psyduck basically <laughs> decided to photobomb us. A little bit. It, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start the stream with a sad story. I'm sorry, chat. That was a mistake. <laughs> she's better now, though. Yeah. It's a, it, she, she's she is a fucking survivor. Yeah, go ahead and look up. Uh, her name is Mato. Uh, she has a Twitter, and it's in Japanese, yeah, yeah. so I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> also, I keep mixing her up with Mako, who's the voice actor for a coup. That guy's uh, dead. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's let's not make this a sad story. Okay. Okay. I study I study Pokemon as a profession. There we go. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? All right. So, uh, typically with streams. Oh my goodness. Oh right. Huh. They, yeah, oh, they yeah. did this. I forgot. This this was um, for Sun and Moon. This is how they set it up too. It was. There's no longer an ask of what is your gender. There's no longer like, okay, what's your skin tone? It's well, just they never here's asked your all skin of the. Op before. Yes, they did. You you just never played a game like that because you skipped all of the 3D Pokemon. Whatever. <laughs> that used to be a thing. And in 6th uh, and 7th gen, both, once you select it, they go, okay, here's all of your skin tone types after that. Now it's just, here's everything all at once. Just pick. It's fine. Yeah. I got no uh, objections to this I really don't. Like, some of these are, are fine, but, like, there's, there's a limitation. The later, no, right? you can't. No? Not in this game. Oh. <laughs> And my understanding of this game is that they, they took out character customization. So this is the trainer you have okay, is the one you stick so with. Okay, so I didn't have a problem with, just with red. any of these, except that, mm. like, you can only be super pale and blonde. Like, there's no option <laughs> yeah. to have, like, dark hair, pale skin, or red hair, or something. Yeah. It's like, really? That's it? <laughs> and that's the only way to be blonde. Oh, no, somebody said there is customization, but it's limited to outfits. Okay, so you can't change your hair. Probably I just not. I, yeah. In, in 6 and 7, you could change your hair. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just, like, you're going to have some, like, ginger kids who look at that and, like, well, I'm not blonde. Yeah, no, that's... Honestly, or you're I, gonna I have, agree. you're going to have people who just want to play, like, a dark-skinned character with blonde hair or something. And it's not even an option, yeah. And I can't have stupid purple hair, either. And how about a name? Mm -hmm. I don't think you could do purple hair in the games where you could change your, your I hair. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think that was ever an option. I, I could be wrong. A, you might have had pink as an option. Just give though. me a color selector and let me choose. So this one's going to be really boring. I'm going to go with Josh for if this. You must. Uh, because if this is my personal account, I don't want to sign in and then have it say Hundera like 900 million times. But only if that's okay. Do you feel like that's I okay? Don't Chat, mind. do you guys think that that's okay? <laughs> oh, you, you can do purple hair and go? In Go, like the the oh yeah phone in, game. in the phone game yeah there's avatars in that game uh yes there are and and you can have different costumes attached to those and I think you can change the hair colors I think they're totally right um I I do not like Go I've never actually played Go <laughs> uh it just never seemed like something that was interesting to me but now there's a chance that we might have to play it I'm not sure yeah we don't have like a mobile device that will play it though. <laughs> His, his name will not be Jerry. <laughs> Actually, that would be great. <laughs> uh, I was assuming we'd go with Hundy and then like name the rival Theo and just pretend this is an yeah, extension I of mean, uranium. We but could do I that, don't but the character care. doesn't look anything like Hundy is the big problem. Yeah, well, I mean, also it's got to be through your personal also, Nintendo, so might as well just be Josh. I don't know if you can name... Um, your rival in this game. I, I'm not 100% huh. sure. I, you might be able to. I don't know. I, like, legitimately just, I have no idea. They better let us. Uh, okay, we do name the rival. Thank you. Okay, yeah. How about Jack, since it's the cross-game counterpart to Josh? Eh? What? Uh, yeah, in, if it's like, uh, it's either blue or red gives you Josh as an option, and oh, the other gives does you Jack. It? Oh, does it? In the original. I didn't even remember. I had red, so I may have had Jack. Maybe. That would make sense. Okay, yeah, we could do Josh and Jack. That's fine. I like the name Jack. Jack is cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. We started with Eevee. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is, I should probably point out, this oh, is Let's Go like Eevee. short-haired Gary. <laughs> this boy here is your friend and rival who's grown up right next door to you. The protagonist looks what almost his name? exactly like Red with different, like, <laughs> This guy looks nothing style. like Gary. Like, like, the style can, 
account for the hair being different, but this is this is extra not Gary. Why is yeah. his shirt so tight? Uh, because he's a completely different person. <laughs> yeah, I this know. This guy just likes tight shirts. Don't judge but, him. But like the the. <laughs> <laughs> they, it feels like they should be equivalent, and he should just be wearing a giant ass long sleeve purple shirt with like a yin yang necklace for no reason. Let's see. Oh, it was Jack and John. Somebody said. Oh, uh, what do you want to name this guy then? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what is your right? We could even we we could do Jack. Like I don't really mind it. Um, somebody Maybe he suggested should be butt face, but I don't want I don't want to deal with butt face for the rest of the game. Uh, good points <laughs> pointed out that like Blue's already in this game. Oh, so... is he? Like, okay, like, that's Maybe fair. he's he's a champion or something. But like like I don't know like this character is clearly a stand-in for original Blue, and he's it's weird about it. I don't know. We'll, I we'll think just I just track. don't like that he seems to be wearing two different wetsuits. Like that. Like, is this Under Armour? You can see like his knee dimples and stuff. Like, why are you dressed <laughs> like it's this? It's a wetsuit. It's so he can go swimming at any time. And our character just looks like like a Pokemon protagonist. <laughs> yeah, uh, this guy's hair is very reminiscent of my own. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. When Josh I, gets his hair I'm assuming cut, he doesn't does have like that. a shitty barrette in the back of his head. <laughs> he might. Because mine, mine just naturally does that sometimes. Yeah, it just really is the, the little rooster comb if it's <clears> short enough. I have about a million uh, little spitty bits on top of my head. Hair uh, walls. Anyway, yeah. Mm hmm. I see. His name is Jack. Oh, fuck, Evie. Get out of my TV. Evie TV. Josh, my boy. Your very own poke. <laughs> My voice is changing bad. Your own. It's about to start. Yeah, world of dreams and adventure with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. <clears throat> Why oh are God. we jumping through a portal? Because this is how we got here first. We we jumped through our TV portal, wound up there, and now we're coming back. Apparently. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in the original game, they just take you and shrink you down to overworld sprite. It's kind of like I've always interpreted it as a dream thing. As opposed to now, he no, looks like he was plopped just, in here. We're phasing into technology. This oh, is not God, my beautiful move. house. This is not my beautiful wife. You okay, can't okay, say I that until like, you go down okay, and see the mom. I don't like this. What? There's a walk, which is fine. Mm -hmm. The run causes it to click. Do you see that click in ah, like the... Yeah. So if you start Eevee running, doll. stop, and then start running again, it looks really like disorienting. Look at that poster. What's that poster? Uh, oh. This poster up here. Oh, hey. It's yeah. the original opening. It's Nidorino versus Gengar. There's an email from Jack. Hey, Josh. So here's what you need to know as a trainer. Press the A button and you can... Why am I snake? You can talk to all kinds of people and if you tilt the control stick more, you can run. Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button... You can save your progress, too. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing this. I can't wait to get started. Can you, Jack? They should have given us a Pikachu doll there, since we David. have Eevee as our It's a fuzzy companions. Eevee plush. Yeah. You know, just for contrast. No, I agree. Oh, shit, that calendar. It's got, like, a generic overworld kaiju. Does it? Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, what is that, like, the beast model or something yeah. like that? I can't quite remember. You can't see it at all yeah, from that there's angle. There's no camera controls in this game, by the way. Um, I don't like that. I, yeah, if you have a 3D I, game with no camera controls, it, it confuses the fuck out of me. Why would you even bother? How many? They better say, like, 800. <laughs> uh, how many Pokemon are there in the world? There's just a... That's it. It's just posed as a question, And you crack the globe open, and there's just been, like, a... <laughs> Pikachu living in Question it. mark? I'm coming up. Well, I didn't tell you you could. Up and at him. <laughs> Why are you here? Morning, Josh. He's just gonna go What's with going his voice, on? I guess. You've got one weird look on your face. Aw, uh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. This isn't even a good snake. This is oh, like no. a slightly off snake. <laughs> Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. I'm just going to start emailing people <laughs> I know with instructions on how to Metal move gear. and use the menu yeah. in real life. <clears throat> oh, but before we do... 
You read that email I sent to you yesterday, right? You better have. Check the computer if you didn't. Yes, I did. Fucking leave my house. <laughs> I'm gonna book it to Professor Oak's lab. So see ya there. This guy's too nice to be Snake. I don't like him. Then don't use that voice. I've already done it. <laughs> I can't get back in bed. It won't let me. Man. Uh... Well, I mean, you don't ever use the bed. Like they're they're clearly going off of oh. first gen conventions. Actually, you and can using use it as an excuse to be a little lazy. You can totally use the bed in I think every game that isn't first gen. You might even be able to use it in first gen. I don't think you, can, you have you to talk, talk to your mom. If you talk so. to the bed, I think you can sleep in it. But in I think it's every game after that, if you walk up to the bed and you keep walking, you slip into it. And then your character just, because it's it's top down, it looks mm -hmm. like they're laying in the bed. Also, you can't read that clock at all. <laughs> yeah, there's probably just why not you, time. Why didn't they just put a functional clock in the game? Who cares? Or if like, there's time, it's, it's based off of just your clock on the Switch. Uh, yeah, the rifle in this game is too nice. I would make a Danny DeVito if I could do a good Danny DeVito. I don't do a very good Danny well, DeVito. You can attempt it and you'll get practice by They're doing showing it. a movie on TV. The scene is showing four boys walking down a set of Same movie! Tracks. Yeah, it's, um, Stand By Me. Er, wait. I think that's no. the one. Is it? Wait. I've mm. never seen that movie. No, yeah, it's Stand By Me. It's Stand By Me. For some strange reason, my brain had a, it did a backflip there. That was weird. <laughs> uh, we're being informed there is no uh, real time clock, so oh, that's whatever. So dumb. Why? <laughs> uh, again, like they're just aping first gen in ways that like, let them be like lazy. Two steps forward, eight steps back. I'm always confused yeah, by this. I don't know. But it's time you got going. Then, dishes and plates are neatly lined up. Is our mom's skin tone the same regardless of what we pick for ourselves? I, I don't know. Because she's like way medium, and yeah. we didn't pick that. Weird. I don't know. Our character's mixed race. <laughs> or she's just tan. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Inside this, there's nothing. I like the weird tie-dye colors behind our text box. Like, they're so unnecessary. I know, right? It's so weird. <laughs> it's fun, but like a weird choice. It smells delicious. Someone must have cooked here earlier. <clears throat> I think this is just coffee. Yeah. It's a cup with a Pokemon mark on it. Is that for Pokemon? Are you drinking Pokemon Cup? Ew. <laughs> uh, there's an Oddish on this table. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't take it. What the fuck? Oh, well. Hi, uh, Mom. Hi, Mom. Off you go to Professor Oak's lab. Jack asked the professor to give, you, give the two of you Pokemon of your own, didn't he? I'm just generic voicing this. She's <laughs> yeah, not going to show up that that's, much. No, she won't. This will probably be one of, like, two interactions we have with our mother before she's gone forever. <laughs> By which I mean she stays here and we leave. <laughs> oh, look, it's that guy. Oh, yeah, it's that particular guy. Show me my mailbox. Josh's house. You just open the mailbox, there's a letter inside. You open the letter and it just says Josh's house. Oh, uh, I don't like that. It's occurring to me now that I can move, uh, but I can't hit the, the search button at the same time. Like, I can't click oh, things while moving unless weird. I want a claw. I don't like that. Go uh, go talk to Daisy and, and see if Solo she'll go Joy out Solo Joy-Con honestly does not feel that good. I'm going to be honest. I'm slowly starting to realize. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they'll be able to protect me. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I guess. Go surf down Technology there and get some Technology is incredible. Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them. Yeah, thanks, guy. Where uh, does that guy live? I mean, that little girl also doesn't have a house represented in they, this town. They live in this flower garden in front of your home. Like, Pallet Town just has, like, Shades one, of your journey away. like, homeless dude or something. I don't know. Jack's house. So Blue doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> I don't yeah. know where Blue lives anymore, either. Uh, maybe he's just an adult and has his own place. But Jack has a sister. <laughs> oh, hi, Josh. Looking for Jack? He went to pick you up. Did you miss <laughs> each other? <laughs> he said that he was going to Professor Oak's lab with you. No, he was a dick. He ditched me. That doesn't 
really... Like, she is not as, as pretty as regular Daisy. Nah. I guess she's not Daisy. She might be dead for all we know. Daisy can... <laughs> just doesn't exist if, the, if this house isn't hers. You can see your face reflected on the TV screen. Yeah, okay. oh, there's a little picture there's a little of, picture of the Jack guy. Holding the, the top percentile ratata. Is that a, That's a, a ratata? Are you sure it's a ratata? Are you how how are you not seeing a ratata? Oh no, I see the ratata. Okay. okay, I was seeing his shirt and I thought it was the inside of the Netherin's ear. Yeah, no, that that's you're right. That's a uh, oh, there's a town map in the background too. Yep. It's a picture of Jack. Thanks. Well, this is presumably where you're going to get the actual town map. Yeah. Once you've gotten other It's a stuff. copy of Pokemon Journal. It says if you cherish your Pokemon, they'll love you in return. Usually. Eh. Uh, I mean, we could go to the lab, but we both know we have to walk up here, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, my good Pidgey. Well, my good Pidgey? My good man. Oh, okay. Thanks for the help. So he's just talking to Pidgeys. That's, um... That's fine. That's interesting. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Please tell me you don't have, like, a communicator that translates birds. <laughs> he's, he's fucking Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> Aha! If it isn't Josh. Oh, of course. I promised to give you and Jack your Pokemon today, didn't I? You forgot? Well, in that case, why don't we head over That's to... That's, like, literally your primary <laughs> job, dude. What? Huh? There's an Evie. Really weird to show up on Route 1. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Well, let's be real. They, I am 100% certain that they have changed everything about this game when it comes to encounters. So, um, you know, because one of the first things we found out was that there are Bulbasaur now in Viridian Forest. Huh. Big old shrug. <laughs> I guess if we're being, like, restricted from choosing Bulbasaur, I mean, at least we can go catch one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody pointed out, you're talking to the guy who forgot his grandson's name. It's that's like, yeah, true. You know what? That's fair. Professor Oak is like that. Maybe he's just, like, talking to birds. <laughs> like, they I don't feel... understand him. They're just not pecking his eyes out. I feel like he's earned the right to be a little scatterbrained because he is a professor with an accomplished career and a former champion and stuff. And time travel has completely fucked his brain, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. So, uh, my, my, I surely wouldn't have expected an Eevee to appear around here. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice practice some Pokemon catching? Okay. You just have to throw your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. Oh, don't Hold hit your the Joy microphone. Hold horizontally. I won't. It's between us, so that it's yeah. in an okay position. Uh, point it straight at the screen. Uh, with your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready a Pokeball. This is the entirety of... Um, just capture and battle now. So, huh. it's weird. You can throw your Pokeball away waving your Joy-Con. Just don't forget your surroundings as you go waving that Joy-Con <laughs> around the place. <laughs> I like that picture. That's that's actually my favorite thing so far in this game. Yeah, that's pretty good. There. Not like they would have given you a challenge. Could I you be a giant man and, like, beat the Pokemon to death with a ball? Like... Um, <laughs> I don't know why you want to beat them to death, well, but not you to are death, a giant but man. But you know what I mean. <laughs> I still train her battles, too. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, so, yeah, I caught that Eevee immediately. That was a pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my boy. Please don't say that ever again. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Eevee you caught a name? Oh, man. We haven't <laughs> discussed what we want to name this thing. What in the... My god. Turns out it was a Voltorb the whole time. Now, that's a lively Pokemon, if I've ever seen one. You know Voltorbs are basically just Rotoms? Yeah, sort of. Uh, like, it, they didn't start that way, but there's been a, a weird change in the Pokedex entries for Voltorb as time goes on. And they've decided at this point that they are plasma-based entities that literally live inside of Pokeballs. Which, 
honestly makes more sense than them just being like either imitating Pokeballs because or like Pokeballs that just sprung to life for no reason. Yeah. And I mean, Rotom is actually cool and fun, so I will accept anything that just piggybacks off of Rotom's existence for explanations, <laughs> yeah. because Rotom is a good design. I really like Rotom, and they don't use it enough. Yeah. Hey, wait, come back. Like, I kind of want more things with Rotoms in them to just be kind of integrated into the Pokemon world, because they've taken this first few baby steps. <laughs> oh my god, there's still the three just sitting there. Oh man. <laughs> We're not getting one, are we? <laughs> no, I don't think we are. Professor Oak. These Pokeballs there, I swear. They were only two a second ago. But there are three now. Oh. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is an Eevee that Josh caught just now. So wait, Josh. You caught it yourself. And it decided okay. <laughs> to just sit here in, like, Squirtle spot? I, I don't know who the fuck is saying this. It didn't give us any, like... I'm gonna assume it's still the rival. What? I've never seen that happen before. Ho ho! How interesting. I'm kind of slipping into a different voice for <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Well, my boy, this is it. Take your Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. Okay. I'll take this one here on the end. Don't, don't tell me what to give do. Us, give us Charizard or whatever. <laughs> I think it's trying to tell you you're going for the wrong one, pal. Okay, then I'll just leave. <laughs> Eevee, don't rule me. Hey, where do you think you're going? Back over here, young man. There's a time and a place for everything, old There's man. There's six Pokeballs and Not now. Is that a healing machine? There are machine? Pokeballs in a mysterious machine. Perhaps. Uh, let's see, does the, the Pokemon Elite Four still want you? There's an email for Professor Oak. The Pokemon League at the Indigo Plateau is full of strong trainers who have raised strong Pokemon to challenge and battle the Elite Four, the ultimate trainers. Professor Oak, please visit us again, Pokemon League HQ. This is not, I'm pretty sure that's not the exact email that it was in the original games. Probably not. Because I think in the original games they were asking him to please return. And it was supposed to be like a weird little uh, thing that they left over from an original concept, which was Oak was the champion. Yeah. Or, or at the very least was an incredibly strong trainer. It was, oh, he should be, desk. logically. It's a picture of Professor Oak. He's smiling in front of an impressive building. Look at those pictures of Rattata in the background, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, chat pointed out those Rattata. Look how fat they are. Yeah, like, they honestly, the one sitting down looks fat as hell. <laughs> that is that is a good boy <laughs> that, that we should that pick is, up. That's choice Rattata right there. That is the pinnacle of all things Rattata. I, oh, okay. So, I'm, yeah, I guess Eevee tells me what to do now. Which of us is the Pokemon and which is the trainer? Well, it's going to... Oh. oh, the Pokeball just exploded. That's fine. <laughs> it kind of looked like we were reaching up to it to, like, absorb its power or something. It's like, maybe we <laughs> yeah. are the Pokemon. Yeah. We touch it and just absorb it, and then, oh, no, it turns out this is actually, like, a Pokemon... What was that that thing called? Pokemon Burst? What was I, the manga I where they fused so. I've never with Pokemon? seen that, but I know there, of it. There is a yeah. canon Pokemon manga where they fuse with Pokemon. Well, not canon. It's, but it was endorsed by the Pokemon company. That means it's official. Yeah. That's not the same okay, as being okay. canon. Official, not canon. You're right. You're because, right. like, first of all, which one is Pokemon canon anymore? Second, like, you, you can have official side stories that aren't canon. I mean, this is true, mm -hmm. too, yeah. Eevee became your Pokemon. Hmm? What a strange Pokemon, indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taken a shine to you. Why not give it a name? Okay, uh, what do you want to name this Eevee? I don't know. We <laughs> haven't discussed. Um, uh, uh, I'm just going to say you should name it Megan, but let's see what chat wants. Uh, why would I name it Megan? <laughs> because you're Josh. Yeah, but you're going to be a co-op player. <laughs> let's see what they decide. <laughs> Uh, I know we can name him later. I'm aware. Yeah, but this is important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I really quickly... I'm gonna crack open a cold one. There we go. 
He leaned it towards the microphone for dramatic effect. I like the sound. The sound is nice. It is. The sound of a can opening like that is so distinct. <laughs> Name it Twerp. Uh, what? Why Name F4? it Buster. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could name it Buster. He's in the chat. Twerp <laughs> <laughs> uh, Buster. Name it Buster. I guess we'll name it Buster. That's, yeah. that's two for Buster, so. We're doing it. B7. What? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> I, that was an accident. <laughs> It's okay. kind of a fitting ironic name because this thing, it's normal type and thus is not effective <laughs> against ghosts in the yeah. slightest. Honestly, I, um, I'm, I'm always... Okay, so the concept of these games where it's let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu mm -hmm. uh, felt to me like Pikachu had an advantage because it's, it's an electric type versus normal type Eevee. And then they gave Eevee a bunch of special moves, right? Yeah, well, yes. But then they, on top of that, it's like originally when we were looking at it, we're like, does the Eevee evolve? Because in yellow, you couldn't evolve your Pikachu, but hey, maybe they let um, you do it. In which case, Eevee would be the better you? option. Wouldn't it be like you no, could, but no, it... No, you can't. Like, I, I don't know. I've been told something like you could evolve it, but then it won't follow you, so you shouldn't. No, it just doesn't? Nope. Okay. Does, it refuses to evolve. If you try, it'll knock the um, the Thunderstone out of your hand. And the the weird thing with that Pikachu was that you could trade it somewhere else and evolve it in like somebody else's game. But when it gets traded back, then it wouldn't follow you anymore. I'm pretty sure if you traded that thing away and then traded it back and it was still a Pikachu, it would go back to following you. Okay. Confusing. <clears throat> I had two Pikachus in yellow. I had an official surfing Pikachu. Um, my mom was... Her hobby was entering sweepstakes. Uh, and she knew that all of us kids liked video game stuff. So she would enter the Nintendo Power sweepstakes in, in like every month. And um, for my birthday, I guess she colluded with my brother and had him go through the game that like you could get to the trading thing. And then you mail it to... <clears throat> Uh, someplace, and they add the peak, the surfing Pikachu to it and mail it back. And then that was my birthday present. That was rad as hell. I had a really cool mom. <laughs> yeah. A professor, I choose this one. I didn't evolve either of no. them, because why would I? Yeah. Jack got a Pikachu. <laughs> Wait, then what's the third one here? <laughs> one of them's Pikachu and one of them's Eevee. Jigglypuff. Is it Meowth? <laughs> I'd love it if it were Meowth. <laughs> Just Those are got our a Pikachu really. from Professor Oak. Yeah. If there was a third to this pairing, it would be either Jigglypuff, Meowth, maybe Togepi. <laughs> I, I don't know. Psyduck. Oh, I'm able to move again. Okay. Oh, hey, Eevee's just here. Yeah. Hi, Eevee. <laughs> it's making emojis at me. Buster turned your way and grinned happily. All right. Well, see ya. I hope nothing happened. Oh, shit. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. Oh, it's being suggested that the third would be Clefairy, which also makes perfect oh, yeah. sense. Because of Clefairy you know being yes. the original mascot. Yes, that, that actually makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense. That's you. Okay. Uh, what is that thing, Professor? <clears throat> this is the Pokedex that I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught, and it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Josh and Jack, I want you each to take one with you. Is it standard <coughs> first-gen oh Pokedex? Or is it like you one of them cell phone <laughs> Pokedexes? It's not a Rotom Dex. No, I think it's just a normal Pokedex. You got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. I'm sorry if I'm coughing a lot. I'm kind of dying over here. It's, it's not even because of the voice. I'm just, like, really congested today. <laughs> yeah, the the fires are still going, but the smoke isn't so bad, so it's not that. Yeah, well, it, I think it is that. It's just I'm still getting over having that much smoke in my lungs. We had some rain recently, and sometimes uh, the plants will spit out pollen once they've gotten enough <laughs> nourishment. Which is really annoying, because then we go from having, like, a ton of smoke to just a ton of pollen it's for no reason. It's not a ton, but more than there was. 
I live in a bad place to have allergies. You can <laughs> you'll find you can't get very detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm an old man now. Too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. So, Red and Blue moving, you two. are in this game, but adults, <laughs> I'm, I'm under the impression of. I don't of, know. Probably but not, to they be honest. still don't, like, he still doesn't have a completed Pokedex. It's, it's right? just timeline shifting. I'm not going to take a lot of, like, like, seriousness with how this is supposed to be placed, but it just seems weird that they're still using that premise. Yeah. Whereas, like... In regular times, Pokedexes are, are common, and, like, most Pokemon have their data known, but you regular give the... Regular times? <laughs> yeah. Like, if you were going at, like, looking at, like, 8th gen oh, or whatever, okay, it's okay. like, yeah, we know a lot about Pokemon, and it's, it's fine, and, and every kid gets a Pokedex, and, and it's just basically for the kid's benefit, not so that Professor Oak gets you to do data for him. Like, or I gotta know, it's a weird yeah. conceit right now. <clears throat> I mean, okay, so Professor Oak is considered the Pokemon professor, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, he is the designer and builder of the Pokedex. Uh, and then there's a handful of... Uh, all of the other professors have their own titles. I, I'm not sure how many people realize this, but, like, all of them are the professors of something. Like, Oak is, is Pokemon general, which means mm -hmm. he, he does Pokedex stuff. Uh, Elm is <laughs> the Pokemon professor who specializes in uh, eggs, specifically. Which makes and sense baby for Pokemon. the game that he showed up in. It does until you realize that the first time he had ever seen a Pokemon egg or a baby Pokemon was when you brought one to him. <laughs> yeah, that's just video game <clears throat> logic, though. That's just so unbelievably confusing. I forget what, uh, after that, you've got, like, Birch, who I think specializes in wild Pokemon. By the way, um... I, we can't talk about Professor Birch without me pointing out, like, go look at a picture of him. That's Josh. <laughs> it's not quite me. That's that's not quite me. It's a little <laughs> off. Like, it's pretty close. It, his hair is different. Uh, this is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're going to meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting it right now. Josh, you should do the same. If you think you're ready, that is. He's not even going to fight me? I also oh have God. a Professor Sona, but oh it's not God. one of the main ones. Um, what the fuck? If you remember, what was her name? Fennel? The one with Amuna in 5th gen? That's basically me. <laughs> tell me what's in the Pokeball. It contains a Pokemon. It doesn't tell you what's in there. That really troubles me. I don't like it. <laughs> I find that so unbelievably unnerving. <laughs> I'm just going to assume uh, it's Bulbasaur, because that's what it was in mine. I picked Bulbasaur, though. I picked Squirtle. This is you. Or was it... You? Yeah. The, yeah, this was you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thinking, like, it wouldn't have been Bulbasaur, because, like, if I was Squirtle, then the rival would have been Bulbasaur. So it's Charmander in there. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how cute! Is this the one you got from the professor? That's not really a mom voice. No, it's fine. Whatever. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. That's fine. <laughs> what should I call your new friend? Buster? It's a lovely Pokemon. <laughs> Bye! My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off an adventure today, right? I'm cool with that. Moms yeah. have to be cool with that. It's the law. <laughs> I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. She hands you your GED. Oh, you what the fuck? You got a town map well, from your mom. Well, then what's the point of the, the not Daisy over in the other house? I don't know. Did massages? <laughs> oh, um, probably not. That, you do realize that's what Daisy did in Gold yeah, and Silver. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't know. The way you <laughs> said it is, like, kind of sounded like... No, oh, no. Not, not. No, I, I mean that because it's literally what she does. It still sounds weird. Okay. You put the town map in your bag. By using that town map in your bag, you'll always know exactly where you are. Yeah. Safe travels, dear. You and Buster be good to each other. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye, son. Stay alive. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Evie, you surf. I want to go catch a tentacle. 
I mean, a... God, a Tangela. <laughs> Both. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Because surf. Um, by the way, did did you know that the only Pokemon you can run into in the water when surfing uh, is Tentacool in Gen 1? Yeah. I didn't realize that until, like, years and years later. Apparently that's a mistake. You were supposed to be able to run into at least a couple more. It makes sense, though, because, like, jellyfish will sometimes just sort of, like, like Man of Wars will just sort of sit on the surface it, it kind of the water. of, yeah. Oh, it's a Pidgey. And were we allowed to just get going? Yeah, we could yeah. just run. Doesn't no, I mean, matter. like, no, I mean, like, we're oh, allowed oh, to just catch uh, these. We've, we've got 50 balls, yeah. Yeah, we don't have to do the thing where you go up to, to Viridian shop and, and get a package or anything. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we started out with 50 balls. We just, we just run it. Yeah, to, to be fair, that was always <clears throat> kind of just annoying more than anything as part of the tutorial, so it's it's nice to not have to oh, do that. Oh, dear God. Uh, Pidgey level 4, bonus multiplier 3.6. New Pokemon excellent throw, first throw, technique bonus. Experience oh. points 40. Do we get, like, an extra 99 points if we, like, press the taunt button I, when the, the I game guess, wins? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Your Pokemon got 40 experience points. I have no idea. This is this is brand new to me. Pidgey's data will be added to the Pokedex. I mean, that's fine, I Very guess. Very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. It's called a sand attack. I'm just going to do a computer voice for these. Because you're doing most of the actual voice voices. <laughs> that's not... That's, that's not a move. Okay, there it is. All right, that's how you do it. Little bits of animation here. Eh. He just just claps at you. Be gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean basically. Oh, good. I can set the animation to play at all times. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Pidgey has been added to your party. From everything I've seen, it seems that they put the most effort into the the models for everything. It like I like mean, that's where they like put it. the most actual heart. Oh, there's a. Do you see that bell sprout? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, okay. I was like, what is that in the corner? I saw yellow. Is that a Weedle? Okay, cool. Whatever. Bell Sprouts before Brock seems like, uh, you're well, really. Your only options uh, for starter are electric or normal. So I get it. <clears throat> I mean, Whatever. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Look, in Pokemon Yellow, you may do. It's a female bell sprout level four, two point seven mo modifier, thirty five experience, and that one had a nanob berry. Wait, did it not let us nickname our nope. Pidgey? Nope. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna guess that we can nickname them later, if at all. <laughs> okay. Do we have Buster to go to a guy, or will attack. they just let it just do it from the I'm menu? Because you know what, let's it check would the be menu. nice. Bell sprout's data was added to the Pokedex. There's like the idea of a name raider <clears throat> is really outdated at this point. Prefers hot and humid huh. places. It ensnares tiny bugs with its vines and devours them. Do you see that they've given little symbols to the uh, the elements in the top left there? Uh, oh, that's kind of a nice touch. <laughs> yeah, like it's not bad. I think yeah. the poison symbol is the thing on Coughing's chest. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bellsprout's been added to the party. Uh, there's some um, latitude Yeah, we're here. being told we can nickname from the menu. That's oh. good. Can we? Yeah, so I am under the impression that we're going to kind of nuzlocke when oh, it yeah. comes Check. to... Look at that. Just change name. Just yeah. right there. Like, the first thing we catch, not for, for a route, but like the first thing we catch for a Pokemon is our main, and when we have to catch a jillion things and trade them for candies or whatever, um, we're just going to keep the main. For now... I do vaguely know that some shit in this game gets a little bit nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, the the more Pokemon you catch of a specific type, the better that Pokemon will be as time goes on. So if you catch, uh, li like, there's a combo system, right? So mm -hmm. like, whoa, hold on. Okay, so you can chain them and you get better IVs? Yes. Combo one Rattata. If I, if I catch this, then I have one combo for Rattata. If I keep catching Rattata over and over again without breaking that chain, um, then I have a better chance of having higher IVs on the Does Rattata. Does it show us too. the IVs? I think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Again, this is my first time playing the game. I've just heard things from people. Okay. That's, that's all that it is. Oh, also, apparently we can go into two-player now. Also, yeah, somebody pointed out, it, it doesn't, it's a shiny, shiny rate. 
uh, goes up with the chains as well. Hold on. So, we'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one... Oh, wait, you, you read these, because... <laughs> Ratata, the mouse Pokemon, will chew on anything with its fangs. <clears throat> if you see one, you can be certain that there are 40 more live in the area. That 40 more live in the area. I know what I said. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's fair. How do we go uh, up? I think you just have to shake your thing. And then hit a button. Uh, hit whatever your equivalent of this oh, one is. it made a vibration. Oh, then shake so. it. There you are. <laughs> just descend from above? Yeah. So you should... Oh, good job getting stuck down there. Oh, right. It's a ledge. There we go. Yeah, it is. That's our Pidgey, by the way, that one following oh, us. Oh, is that... Like, it's just because it's the first in the park. Uh, I think it's following you specific. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's okay. currently that Pidgey's yours. Would you like to nickname that Pidgey? Um, yeah. I think I might be the only one who can run into Pokemon, by the way. Oh, whatever. Uh, what do you want to name this Pidgey? Um, good question. Oh, we're being told that someone's going to give us an IV judgment <laughs> item. Um, okay. Hmm. Dead Ghost Twins Descends from Heaven. Yep. Yeah. That's not what I'm naming this. No, Um, not. Let's think. Was it a girl? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a female Pidgey. Okay. Uh, what's the name of that goose from Balto Three? <laughs> I don't remember. Do you, do you maybe want to name the Pidgey after people in the the chat too? We could do that. Yeah, I mean, if anyone I mean, one gives of them's me a name, Busters. Yeah, yeah, if you guys want to suggest stuff, you can you can give that. Uh, unless you know what the name of that that horrible. Uh, goose from Balto is the sexy goose well. from Balto three. <laughs> Who was she voiced by? I don't know. It wasn't Ava Gabor, right? No, she was probably dead already by that point. I don't remember when Ava Gabor died, but she was. So so Balto three must have come out in like two thousand or so, um, and like Ava Gabor would have been like probably dead twenty years before. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't know. Stella. <laughs> okay. okay. Do I have control over it or? I oh, knew. okay. I knew it began with an S, but I wanted to say like Sonia, <laughs> but I knew that wasn't it. Jeez. I got a bunch of screen caps of that that goose. That's so a that good I question, can, like, actually. Show them to people. Buster's, did you know that off the top of your head? <laughs> <laughs> no, I googled it. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. Stella. Stella. That's fine. Let's go to the dungeon, Stella. We love you. Where am I? Uh, Do I have to descend every time? <laughs> I think I think it's because you walked off of the screen. <laughs> okay. So it just it decided that you weren't there anymore. Uh, I was looking for the. Uh, you know what? It's not here. It's uh. It's far. Oh right, right, a hidden potion. Yeah. I wanted to yeah, find. Yeah, I can't smack oh, wait, there's into a thing anything. There. Yeah, I think I'm the only one who can. Oh wait, Evie found something. What'd you find? He found a ghost. Buster found something in the plants. You got a raspberry. Cool. <laughs> you put the raspberry in your catching pocket. All okay. right. I forget what oh, those Oh, yeah. Do. Okay. So here's the thing, right? I, I had to look up how hold items work in this game. There are none. Okay. Um, so we have, uh, well, I didn't know what this was, but now I, now I see Wait, it. Wait, you can just nice. access the box from wherever? Uh, yes. So your cool. box is okay. on you at all times. Honestly, that's fine. There's, there's nothing in it, but your box is on you at all times. And it includes your party, I guess. Yeah. We have been hearing a lot of stuff about this game where they dumb it down, like, significantly. <clears throat> but that just sounds like an ease of, of a quality of life thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a medicine pocket that would have potions in it. Uh, a TM case, which would have TMs in it. Uh, a power up pocket, which looks like it has uh, like fire stones, stones and, stuff? and probably proteins or stuff in it. Candy jar. We don't have any candy. Uh, a clothing trunk, which I'm gonna guess has all of our clothes in it, but we don't have anything in there yet. Uh, a catching pocket that looks like pokeballs and berries. So this is how how they've re rolled berries. Are now. they for bait or something? Yes, you throw okay. them as bait now. Sure. Uh, a battle pocket that probably it looks like it has mega stones like and X like X attacks in it, yeah, and then a town map. But but what I wanted to point out was that Pokemon don't have hold items anymore. They don't have abilities and they don't have hold items. You can't breed them because there's no more eggs or baby Pokemon at all. Um, it's just literally here's a Pokeball and then here's berries and the berries can be used as literally just bait items now. 
And it's like, I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess that's fine. Oh, I got. Well. <laughs> I guess I won't throw a tantrum, but like at the same time, I mean, I I don't like change. I don't like um, whenever they make Why changes that, climb that over this, look by the way? like because it's a ledge. Yeah, but I mean, when you really get a chance to see a 3D version of it, this ledge is not very. Yeah, high, no, but like. they're clearly just using uh, first gen again I know, I as know. an excuse uh, to what, not do what, things. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Like, like I've heard a lot of stuff about the way they've taken certain things out of like battling and complexity. It's like. I feel like they're they're disrespecting the children in the target audience by assuming that they can't figure it out. Because even, you know, when Pokemon start getting more complicated, we like like a kid can just still press like whichever attack they want and figure it out eventually. And like kids who don't even know how to read eventually figure out what they're doing in Pokemon. Yeah. So like I, there's some things where it's like just respect the intelligence of 6-year-old you know what? That's a good question. Somebody said, is that Jack's sister? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, actually. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. You'd think they'd build a better trail than the one in Viridian well, Forest. Well, there is, but you gotta in, cut to you know, get like, through trainers it. Trainers and Pokemon. Is this as fast as I can go? I think you're going just as fast as I am. Yeah, but not? I can't anticipate <laughs> oh, you. Oh, fuck. Were we the same person for a second? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Did you know there are actually two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? You're talking to some experts here, kid? No. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch that your Pokemon aren't hit with Weedle's poison sting. Uh, hey, guess what's a completely useless building to us? Yeah. <laughs> Unless we find a trainer battle, there's there's no reason to <laughs> I just be in don't here. use the door. Fuck it. I guess. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, they'll be tucked away in a box. You have a box in your bag too, right? <laughs> Please feel free to read any of the books on the magazine rack in the corner. What? Do you own it? The receptionist told me so. It's so kind of her. That's just standard Nurse Joy over there. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I don't want to look at her for a second. There's a magazine called Pokemon Journal. There's a flashy advertisement on the back cover. Will you read it? Uh, sure. Yeah. If you use what are called secret techniques, you can chop trees, open paths, light up dark places, and so on. They're sure to be very useful. Don't you want to learn secret techniques now, too? The Kanto Secret Technique Association. Okay. I guess that's the replacement for HMs. Yeah, kinda. Look at the Pokemon... That's not a Pokemon Center. That's... Is that the Elite Four? Is that the Pokemon League? I don't know. Huh. It's just standard anime... Yeah, it's literally just Joy. Nurse Joy and, and her Chansey here. Yeah, like even in the original games, Chansey. that wasn't really what she was supposed to no, look like. Not, not originally. Really. But I mean, this is based on Yellow. So that's fine. Have you battled a trainer? If your Pokemon speed stat is higher than the opposing Pokemon speed stat... You'll attack first. No. If we're faster, we hit faster in a way. Well, to be fair, she's like six she's years old. She's a six-year-old hiding in a bush. Like, I don't know. And what the fuck. she's already, like, giving you more information <clears throat> than they assume that actual kid players know. <laughs> There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing your Pokemon. Well, they're not hurt, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly... How often are Pokemon even going to get hurt, though? Well, we haven't seen an actual battle yet, which we is haven't. annoying. Yeah, because, I mean, there was no rival battle. Yeah, that was it was strange. I agree. Did you find another berry? Is that fence a 2D object? Buster is taking in the scent of the flowers. It looks like it, actually. Yeah, uh, like it's just it kind me? of a static image superimposed. Let's just... No? No, no. No, that's that's okay. a three-dimensional object. It's just shaded in a way that looks really yeah. really pre-rendered. Yeah, okay. it's got a really basic shader on it. Where did I go? Uh, you, you ran away <laughs> when another human being approached. I've had no actual <laughs> chance to interact with anything as the second player, but like it's so amusing that I just keep voiping away. Oh, uh, God. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You must know Professor Oak, right? 
I've got a delivery oh. for him, but I, I really can't leave the mart unattended. Can I get you to take this to uh, Professor Oak for me? So that's how they do it. the parcel. Can we just skip this man forever then? <laughs> Put the parcel in the back. Thanks, kid. Say hi to Oak for me, too. You a dick. <laughs> do you want to head? Oh, that makes it Do you want to head straight back to the lab? No. Uh, Don't. No. <laughs> we want to we explore. I love that. I'm like, no. And then you reappear out of nowhere. Yeah. Yo there, kid from Pallet Town. Oh, Is that it? okay. I thought he was trying to get my attention. What is this? <laughs> I'm having trouble navigating sometimes. Do you see uh, who's blocking the road? Hello. Why? What continuity are we in? Yellow. They Rare. were in yellow. They were in yellow. Also, yeah, Meowth is. But like uh, the timeline's weird. Is doing Pokemon mm -hmm. sounds. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now. We're in the middle of guard duty, and it's very important. What are you doing here, twerp? Shoo! Go pester someone else. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, those Pokeballs you've got. You have Pokemon, don't you? It's great that you can carry and use your Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Thanks, kid. There's an old man on this bench. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Yeah, I was going to say, is he's it that guy? chosen not to lay in the road. <clears throat> oh, ho. So you're working on a Pokedex. Then I'll give you a piece of advice. Unlock missing, though, old fucker. <laughs> you do well to stock up on Pokeballs at a mart before continuing your adventure. <laughs> uh. Meowth is and will continue to be the best Pokemon. <laughs> I love that you've just given up on following me. <laughs> Wait, where am I? <laughs> you just you walked away <laughs> and vanished forever. <laughs> you you stopped following around uh, Team Rocket. There I am. <laughs> it takes a while for it to waggle me in. It's fine. <laughs> Route 22. Let's get some Nidoran. Uh, maybe a Possibly. Mankey. Maybe a Mankey. That's Spiro. a Spearow. Let me get the Spearow. <laughs> I'm just going to stand outside the grass until it comes to me. All right. So is this okay. what co-op matters? Yes. Co-op does happen here. See? So okay. we can both get ready at the same time. And then we can hmm. both throw it. You, you got to hit. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should hold it upside down no. so it matches the way you've got. I I don't know if that's the way. No, that it because works. the the stick was. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's awkward using the second one. It's okay. Okay. So. So click the button and then we throw it at the same time. Three, two, one, throw. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> what? Hit get ready again. It looked like we collided in midair. Oh come! I, I, we get points if we do it at the same time. Do we? Yes. <laughs> It's worth more experience if you have two people throw them at the same time instead of just one throwing it randomly. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a nice throw, so... Yeah, that's not... Wow. Look at that mode of modifier is like 1.5. One of the first catches we did had like four on it. Alright. <laughs> well, it still worked. Yeah, well. Better catch ratings... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow. So Buster's grew to level seven. We'll Sorry, we'll, we'll get a, a, a rhythm eventually. Yeah, well. Sparrow's Spiro's data will be added to the Pokedex. Spiro, the tiny bird Pokemon, inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. Neat. It's been added to the party. I don't Spiro particularly like Spiro. Spiro is such like a Spiro. weird design. Like yeah. I'm not opposed to it. It's just it's a weird. Like, like, it's got, like, a scaled underbelly, and its colors are segmented weird. There's a Rattata there. You're just not gonna... Nope. If it's something we've already seen, I mean, we could catch it, but it, it would just kind of be pointless. All right. Let's show, check the, uh, there's another... Oh, wait, no, there's a trainer battle that way, isn't there? I don't... It may have changed. Oh, yeah, it seems like it's changed. Well, fuck me. All right. There's another Spearow. You want a chain for Spiros? No? Uh, not particularly, because you'd have to get, like, a chain of 25 to make that Oh, count. yeah. This early on, let's not let's not do the team. Yeah, I, I figured it would probably be for the best that we don't do that right away. Hey, There's another hey. one. Get over. Now, let's let's try to move in sync for this. That's okay. a big Nidoran. Nidoran! 
ones are always a little bit fat. Oh, you encountered a wild Nidoran. Okay, so hit get ready. Mm -hmm. And then three, two, one, throw. There right. we go. <laughs> but they fused into one yes. Pokeball? Yes, they did. What? <laughs> so, if I understand correctly, I believe um, that that comboing like that, like like getting a double Pokemon stuff, a gives us a much better mul multiplier. Is that, that's so that was worth forty four experience? Right? Okay. Yes. Uh, B it it increases the catch rate if I understand that correctly. Huh. So there we go. Your Pokemon got 44 experience points. Yay, so Stella. just about everything grew level up. Yay, uh, Nameless Bellsprout. And Bellsprout. <laughs> Rata and And that's Spiro. Uh, Bellsprout grew to level 5. I don't want to make this another Trash King thing, by the way, because we, we've we been playing Red Ver Well, we played Red Version for my birthday, and it's like, I really like all of those Pokemon. I don't want to replace this team with that team, or that, that team with this team, so to speak. Yeah, like, you don't so, want to do the same, let's just choose shitty names. Although Trash King was Yeah, great. Trash King was amazing, but I, I don't want to try and replace Trash King. Okay, trash so King this is not Trash really King. No, no, he's somebody else. Can he be Trash Lord? <laughs> I don't know. Nidoran, male. The poison pin Pokemon. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check the motions real fast. <laughs> He's got like a bunny bite. It's being suggested we name him Prince. Uh, because that's what Buster's name's his. Okay. Right, because he's the royal purpleness. Yeah, I yeah. Mean he is. Uh, this is actually a bigger one. You can see there when it says weight and height, it, it's pointing up. I think that means that um, it's on the it's higher... That's our high record, but we've only caught one. Right, but when we caught a bell sprout, the first time, it had the arrow pointing down. Did it? Yes. No. <laughs> so, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 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 look, it has a, a general height and weight oh, on the left-hand okay. side, too, and then it has the other one on the right-hand side. He is a big so boy. So he's, he's a big boy. <laughs> Can we name him, like, Food King or something? <laughs> I want to avoid the Trash King, like, comparisons. Well, he's, he's a little fat baby. We gotta give him some he kind is, of He is, I know, name. I agree. D oh, God, that Ratata escaped the grass, and now it's chasing me down. Another Nidoran. Yeah, all right. Let's let's move on. <laughs> okay. I was thinking about doing it again, but let's let's not. There's a pokeball here though. There's Found five. five pokeballs inside this one pokeball. You put the pokeballs in your catching pocket. Okay. Follow me, ghost. When we do co-op, it does consume two at a time, huh? I think it only consumes one, actually. Huh. I I could be wrong. Oh wait, no, that is the right way. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Nidoran males, no Nidoran females. Did you notice that? Uh, yeah, it could be a version thing. It could be. I don't think it is, but it could be. Oh, why am I going to the Pokemon Center? Force a habit. Sorry. Uh, I am going to move him uh, up in front of the Bellsprout for no reason. And then I'm going to move this Spearow to over the Bellsprout. <laughs> You're just ranking your favorites or something? Yeah, that's kind of just how I'm working. Do you want the Nidoran or do you still want the Pidgey? I'm fine with Stella because she has a name now. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. I just feel like now that she's become the thing we have, it's like, yeah, she, she's canon. Do you see that Bellsprout walk out of the bush? He wants to meet us. It's It has nothing to do with the grass. That Bellsprout just walked right the well, fuck out of the bush. Well, there's one from grass. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm not saying like, oh, well, yeah, they, they don't they walk do out of the thing. It's like, no, dude, they, did you see that thing do both? <laughs> Why not both? I don't know. It just, it, it's never it's occurred weird, to me. It's weird, yeah. Usually it's like, oh, Pokemon live in tall grass. They don't live in bushes. <laughs> that seems so strange. Huh. Apparently the strategy people use for two-player mode is player one uses ultra balls and player two uses pokeballs because the best ball is the only one that matters in the fusion. Interesting. Okay. And it does consume two, according to people. Hmm. Where am I? I'm dead again. Yeah, you're dead again. It's fine. <laughs> Bring me back! No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Oak, you ghost. <laughs> Why, Josh, back so soon? How is little Evie doing? Hmm? 
<laughs> His face looks a little bit <laughs> plastic. <laughs> He's like, I'm terrified. Get him away from me. <clears throat> oh, apparently it's just riding on my head now. That's fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Goodness me, Evie here seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Josh. We've known each other for like an hour. <laughs> I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Give him the parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor Oak. It's about my Pikachu. Its moves are... Really, really Whoa. sick. That's so cool. He has, like, the best moves for the Danko. Evie just rides on you like that? <laughs> ah, now we have Jack as well. What fine timing. I've just deli been delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. You got some raspberries. <laughs> he had a parcel that was made up of raspberries? Is that it? He just he just ordered a shitload of food from <laughs> Great. Like Amazon. I've been starving. He's been eating snakes. <laughs> I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon, not you. <laughs> when you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. <laughs> that was close. I nearly swallowed them. <laughs> One of them right right. Are they myself. poisonous to people? Yeah, or maybe. What? <laughs> well, they are just raspberries, but they're raspberries, not raspberries. Yeah, no. It's still, though, weird. Metal Gear. Yeah. <laughs> now then, you two. It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training. Up your favorites. I don't like the... The, Both? <laughs> the breaking on the line seems, like, really weird in this game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's standard. It's just we read off and they don't expect that. Yeah. My only request is that you have fun either way. Okay, see ya. Fuck you! <laughs> and we're being told that raspberries are the only ones that actually influence catch rate. I'm gonna assume the others are for other hmm. weird little things. <laughs> Wait up. Come on, Josh. You do know how to catch more with... <laughs> you can do more with Pokemon than just catching them. All right, them, now right? we're getting the battle. If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles with other trainers, we too. We should have gotten this first thing, <laughs> I though. know, it's weird. I'll show you exactly what I mean. <laughs> it's battle time. I like that face. That oh, face yeah. makes him look way better as a rival. He looks a little bit evil. I still wish he was wearing clothes that fit him. <clears throat> yeah, that would be nice. So this is still our first battle. There was no chance of us finding a battle outside of this one. Yeah, he only has here. one Pokemon. <laughs> mm. It's just Pikachu. Pokemon trainer Jack. They just want to do Pikachu. Pikachu. I guess so, yeah. Go, Buster. His Pikachu's big. I he think. has a pretty fat Pikachu. I think. Uh, go ahead and hit your button and then shake your controller. A support huh. trainer came running. Cool. <laughs> Stella. Stella. You ready to two-time this guy? <laughs> okay, so you choose your move and then I choose my move? Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Uh, it's a quick attack. There you go. And, yep. Why do I have... Oh, wait. Because you've been was... leveling up. I was focusing on <laughs> Eevee as it showed me the moves. I was like, wait, why does Eevee have that? No. Well, that's not going to work that I'm just going to sand attack just to be support. <laughs> Somebody's like, <laughs> somebody in chat said we're cheating. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we are. A little bit. There's two of us. So we're going to use everything at our disposal. Which is a He should have caught on. more than one Pokemon. It's his fault. Yeah. Actually, by the way, uh, all of the trainers that you fight in this game use one Pokemon at a time, even if they have a full team of six. So if you uh -huh. double up on trainers, you were permanently two on one people. <laughs> huh. That's so weird. Just pointing that out, by the way. So, you'll probably kill him on this turn, but I'm going to give a tackle just so that we have a assurance. Yeah, oh, we, there we, go. we are Team Rocket now. <laughs> You're super Honestly, right. we kind of already were. <laughs> 
As a cup. Uh, Buster, Buster got 31 experience. Buster grew to level 8. It's not as much as we get from catching things, actually. Yeah, well, that Pikachu had Special no chance Special defense went up by one. Cool. Uh, that's a fancy one, and I don't know why. Is that Eevee's? But uh, By which I mean not the Pokemon, I mean effort values. Maybe. Huh. It would make s I don't remember what, what gives what, but Pikachu giving a special defense kind of makes no, sense. No, Pikachu gives speed. Oh, okay. It, it might have been because we were catching other things, though. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Stella grew to level 7. Stella special got one in special okay. attack. Whatever. I, I don't know. I also don't know what the CP score is. Uh, Condo points? No, I, I don't think that. I think that's something that you get in Pokemon Go, which is like a general scoring system for Pokemon. Huh. Where it's like the higher the CP, the stronger the Pokemon is. His, his evil side is starting to emerge for real. <laughs> what? Did I lose? You got 120 Pokés for winning. Do, 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 do. You get a random AV for each level up. Candies award AVs when used. They basically replace vitamins. Oh, God. Okay, I found out about the candy stat thing at some point, too. Uh, I think it was Joe Merrick was talking about it or something like that. Um, he originally thought that Pokemon had no limit on the the amount of AVs that you could like improve a Pokemon by. You get AVs from candy. What does the A stand for? I have no idea. <laughs> it, it's not effort. It's not uh, A for effort. Awakening value. Thank you. Okay. Um, so you you get AVs from candy. Uh, he originally thought there was like no limitation, but it turned out that there is a limitation. The limitation is two hundred mm -hmm. per stat. Okay. Uh, That's that effectively. A lot. Yeah, it's fucking enormous. It means that you could have a level 5 Pikachu with maximum AVs on every stat, and it would be the equivalent of like a level 70 or 80 Pokemon. Jeez. A level 5. Yeah, these aren't <laughs> going to be transferable into any like, if further they are, proper games, If they right? are, the AVs aren't going with them, I can tell yeah. you that right now. Unless they decide to include the AV system in Pokemon games going forward. It's a little broken, though. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> ah, jeez. There I went mouthing off like I knew everything. And then I lost. How embarrassing. <laughs> I probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying a battle like that, huh? Let's battle again some time. <laughs> just kind of rushes off. Did you enjoy your first taste of battle, young Josh? Your partner, Evie, seemed to like it. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to get any are. extra balls from any of the assistants? I don't know. We could talk to him. <laughs> Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers think highly of him. <laughs> uh, welcome back, James Mason. <laughs> I also study Pokemon as Professor Oak's assistant. Okay. I want one of those, those lab and coats And I'm his the twin wall. brother, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> he said the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, just wanted to point that out. To catch a Pokemon, just throw a Pokeball. You don't have to battle to weaken it. Oh, great. <laughs> Wait, okay. Hold on. I, I just want to go back to that sentence. To catch a Pokemon, just throw a Pokeball. You don't have to battle to weaken it. Is that not literally the exact opposite of probably what this bookshelf told us? Probably. In, in red, blue, and yellow. Probably. It's, it was probably originally battle a Pokemon to weak it, weaken it, then throw a Pokeball. That's what I assume it was, anyway. Where did I go? <laughs> you, you keep just not pressing anything when right, I'm doing right, stuff. Right, because you're, it, there's no point to me doing it. <laughs> uh, if you don't have any Pokeballs, you, can, you can't do anything when you encounter wild Pokemon. Buy a lot of Pokeballs at a Pokemon. So you, you can't even fight them. You just gotta run. You can't Jeez. do anything. At that point, why are they even encountering me, then? <laughs> you might have to do it again once we get out here, I don't know. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, <clears throat> there I am. Nope, nope, you got it automatically. So we're just going all the way back. Oh, hey, uh, Jack's sister. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy. Hey, Josh. <sighs> oh, just look at Evie. You two are looking like great partners. I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this. Oh. You got sportswear from your friend's sister. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm okay.
okay with that sentence. You put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Try putting that on Evie. You can go on an adventure in matching clothes. Okay, we gotta dress this little fucker up. <laughs> that's that's still you. Oh? <laughs> his, his foot was on nothing okay. for a second. Buster looks very happy. Play with Buster. Uh, partner play. Uh, play with Buster. You can pet Buster by placing your hand on it. Move your hand. Uh, plus, press ZR or the A button to pet the spot your hand is on. Press the Y button to center your hand. So I can, I can pet yeah. this thing. The noises they've decided that Eevee makes now are very uh, silly. The, this is the first game that they've done that for. Um, Eevee used to just be beat boops like every other Pokemon. They did that for Pikachu, and I guess this was the game where they decided that they wanted to do it for Eevee now. Yeah, because Eevee's now the equivalent. And that's fine. It's just, it's kind of nice that they don't... Uh, that, it doesn't like it when you poke it in the eyeballs. Like it's just, it just makes a lot of, like, baby babbles, and that's cute. Yeah, a little bit. Dedede did the same thing in the anime, and I always found that amusing, because it was basically just they let someone just go to town, just making little ba 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 noises over and over. You like it when people poke you in the ears? <laughs> Me your foot. <laughs> okay, cool. Can we dress him up now? Uh, I don't know. Actually, what is that little berry symbol? Can I just... Can I... Oh, okay. Hold, hold on. Center my hand. Berries. Give your Pokemon a berry, Joy-Con. Take a berry with ZR or the A button and bring it over to Buster's mouth. If you drop a berry, it'll return to the tray. Just uh, grab some novelty Halloween fast food and make him eat it. Give him some, some ghost food or something. Trying to think of what actual Busters would also eat if we had to feed him. And it's like, just ghost yeah. shit. That's fair. Okay, so uh, that's the only option we have for that. Busters want sour bones. I don't know what that is. Poi. Sour bones? Should give him poi, actually. He poi keeps asking gross. for it. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> it seems like Evie wants to play. Don't forget to show it some love from time to time. <laughs> so somebody literally told us don't give him berries, they're ridiculously rare. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops, we Whoops. gave him like four. <laughs> cool. Play with Buster has been added to the main menu. Press the X button to go see. <laughs> Select this option to play with Buster whatever you want. I, we wasted incredibly rare items. Whoops. <laughs> When we catch something and name it Dark Wizard James Mason, we gotta feed him pizza bones. Yeah, okay. Or feed her. I like pizza, pizza bones. bones though. Pizza bones are good. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see here. We we don't have anything in this a jar of candy, do we? No. Not okay. yet. Not until we grind uh, someone up. <laughs> what what was the option for doing stuff with with was it in here? I. Don't. Check summary, check name, move Pokemon. Oh, it yeah. might be in the summary. It, it said that there was like an option for... Uh... Oh, play oh, with Buster. Yeah, it's literally the giant icon. Okay, I'm just blind. Yeah, just dress him <laughs> up. Yeah, okay. Uh, choose an outfit for Buster. Hat. <laughs> sports oh, cap. Oh, it's just matching. Okay. <laughs> you got out the sports Why cap. Why did the Your rival's sister... Great. Why did the rival's sister Sportswear. have stuff Back that looks like trunk. you? I don't know. Why did she have, like, a dog outfit that looked like me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have anything for our trainer. Uh, so let's see here. If I go into party, and I go into Buster now, and I hit check summary, I can... Oh, 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 Jesus. Okay, hold on. There. Nope, okay, still not working. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I thought maybe I'd be able to, um, like, do a spin to see it, but I, I can't. Weird, you should be able to. I know, it It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give me the option. That's so strange. Well, I don't know Can why I, like, you're selecting moves. I don't know. Okay, I, I was wondering if Y would lock me into place, but it doesn't. Huh. Yeah, and then that's just, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I can change the markings, but that's not actually useful to me. 
You can kind of see it's got a little shirt on. <laughs> yeah, under the, the lion's mane. I'm sorry, did that say current height? No, okay, it's a, it's a current number of experience points and height, like, somewhere else on this, and it freaked me out for I a second. I don't see height. Oh, there There's it height. is. <laughs> Does it let you rotate now? Uh, no. This will cycle through Pokemon again. Sad Arbol. that I can't put a hat on Stella. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Came to the Kanto region through some mysterious force. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, did you see the rest of that? No. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me go back. Where met each other again in Pallet Town. <laughs> huh. Like, oh maybe... Oh god, it's that TV shit at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, maybe they mean that it was the TV, Evie, but like... Ugh, so weird. Yeah, that's fucking weird. I don't like that. Alright then. Uh, if we go into play with Buster, I don't know if we're gonna get... Yeah, I mean, we you can, can see a little see bit it. more of it than we could, but, but not it's by much. But always on the arm. Buster we appears to be basking in the sun. We can't do this with other Pokemon ever, can nope, we? just your partner. Uh, which is stupid, because you, you used to be able to do this with all of your Pokemon. Yes, and also, like, they've all got full models that run around and have unique, like, walk cycles and stuff. I, I accept that they're not going to let us fit hats onto everyone, but can I just pet Stella? Yeah, it used to be that you could do it with, like, uh, Pokemon Ami or or any of the other similar systems. It's being suggested that this Eevee what, what is actually hell? our soul. Oh, it was you. Okay. I, I was like, what was that noise? <laughs> it's just you. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, that man from the potion shop is here. Thanks for helping me out with that parcel. The Pokemart is, con is a convenient chain selling all sorts of items, so please come visit us. Oh, I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. He had a potion. Okay. I don't remember the voice I was doing for that guy. I don't know. Put the potion in your medicine bag. Your Pokemon may take damage when you battle other trainers. Be sure to use a potion on them if it happens. Eh. Are we just going to avoid catching things? Uh, for now. Okay. <laughs> We, we're on the way to, like, Viridian Forest, oh. so... Oh, no. Trainer's eyes have met. I'll battle you with the Pokemon. <laughs> Jack's up there at the crossroads waiting for us. <laughs> what a jerk. You are challenged by youngster Ronnie. Oh, he's got a Weedle for a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you mean he's got a Weedle on his shirt? He's not got a Weedle for his shirt. You don't know that for sure. You know what? Maybe you're right. Poke Pokemon cloth, I guess, could totally be a thing. Do you see that little animated Eevee <laughs> yeah. wiggling my stick? Why what? is it wiggling? I don't know. I wiggled it and it, it skipped my turn. What? <laughs> I wiggled it back and forth. I thought it might be... I, I don't know. We'll see. If it turns out to be something amazing. Okay, it's a sure hit move, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. Vivi Volley. Oh, well then... I just, I disappeared and turned into a light beam. Cool. Got 12 experience. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. Spiro grew to level five. <laughs> People were just screaming in chat, wiggle your stick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not wiggling our stick on Twitch. I think it would violate something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um... <laughs> Be <laughs> a fucking Vmon volley. Uh, it's a perfect accuracy return that runs off of affection instead of happiness, apparently. I gotta admit that I'm a little more amused, but what? <laughs> Anytime a person shows up, the ghost has to disappear. What yeah. were you saying? Finish your I'm thought. a little more amused by Pokemon on the overworld than I thought. Yeah, like, you know what? I, me too, I a still bit. feel like the mystery of them jumping out of the, the grass and you couldn't see them before has a little more sense of adventure, but like I'm just watching rats just sort of scuttle around. We we totally just bullied that kid. Yeah. We we beat him up two on one and then stole his Pokeballs and his money. <laughs> yeah, I mean was, he started it. It's true he did. Mm -hmm. Huh? You look pretty pleased about something, Josh. We just beat up a child. Oh, you beat another trainer? Good job. Oh, we would have had to have done that to get up well, since here. Since we're I on guess. the topic, yeah. the Pokemon you sent into battle might have lost some HP or PP. PP. You should take them to the Pokemon <laughs> Center and get them healed up. It doesn't cost any money and doesn't take long at all either. 
Just remember, heal up after battle. Okay. Bye, Jack. <laughs> he, just, he just fucking walks away. I'm just your imaginary friend, I guess. I'm your Snuffleupagus. No, you're a trainer that died years beforehand, and we gotta find your murderer. That's fine. <laughs> you're just, you're borrowing my Pokemon for the adventure. I am, like, a psychic projection uh, emitted by Stella, so that she has the freedom of being a Pokemon with a trainer without having to be told what to do. <laughs> I don't think that's it, but that's fine, too. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, your Pokemon should be good. <laughs> hope to see you again. I want to be the best there ever was To beat all the rest